right? So it's saying like a, um, that's kind of in the we saw that in the production possibilities curve when we just graphed that when we said um, there's a curve here like this maybe, right? And so we're saying maybe to squit to go from this point right here to this point, mm -hmm. right? I'm giving up a little bit, I'm only giving up a little bit of good A right here, just this amount of good A, mm -hmm. and I'm gaining this amount of good B, right? Mm -hmm. But as I increase that, if I go from this point to this point over here, I have to give up a lot of A, do you see that? I have to give a lot more A just to get a little bit of B right here. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> like, um, have you taken any math classes? I took or math 108. Just math 108? Okay. So um, the opposite of this would be like a straight line, which is just an in, uh, a straight line is would be constant cost mm -hmm. industry. So if you ever have like a constant cost, that's just saying like, okay, or it might be, when you're talking about cost, I think it might go like this, right? So like, um, as I increase the quantity, Uh, I don't know. It's just it. I think I want to say it's like yeah, this. Yeah, if it costs, uh, like if it's the constant, size it's decreases straight. Quality right. By the same amount, right? When it's a straight line, it like every time it goes down two, it goes over two, down two, over two, down. Two. So like it doesn't matter where you're on the graph, it's always going to be a straight trade off. That's constant mm -hmm. cost, right? And just increase by a certain amount. But that's when, but since it's a curve, the production possibilities curve. That's saying like. For the first few units, like when I'm trading off, I don't have to trade that much. Um, I'm trying to think of an example. Okay, so like, it's so basically which one is opportunity cost? Yeah, which one? so, so, so for example, if you're talking about like, yeah, so if you're talking about producing B, here's A. So if you're saying, I want to increase my production of B, right? So your opportunity cost of B would be producing A, right? Your opportunity cost of one of them is the other one. Uh, so Does that make sense? Because it's your B next is best the opportunity treat. cost then. So if B is the opportunity cost of A. Because I'm because okay. if I want to so produce I A, a, I have to a, give up the B. Okay, right? so if I do A, I give up some uh, some amount of B, right? Okay. And so that's what it's saying is like okay, so sit, take this point right here where you're producing only B and you're producing this amount of B. It has a hundred units of B, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want to get some A, you have to give up some B. That's your opportunity. Mm -hmm. Your opportunity cost of gaining A is to give up some B, right? And so, like, if I wanted to get some A, I could go out to this point right here, and I could capture a lot of A for just a little little decrease in B. Like, I would only have to give up maybe this goes down to 98, right? Oh, and I could get I, up to if 25. If I get a little A of A, I have to give up a lot of B. Mm. That's at the end. That's when it increase. Yeah. That's why it's increasing. That's why it says. It's uh, the law, the law of increasing opportunity costs. Because at, at first, the, in, the opportunity cost is not very much. Because I'm only giving up a little bit of B, so my opportunity cost is not that much. But in the end, it is a lot. So it's increases. Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, like, it's basically saying the more and more you want of A, the more and more you're going to have to give up of B, greater quantities of B. So. Oh, yeah, right. that makes sense now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Okay. Awesome. Thank you.